All right, guys, in this question, we're going to find, we're going to answer this problem right here. It says, find the equation of the line through the point of intersection of the lines 2x minus y plus 7 is equal to 0 and x plus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0, which is perpendicular to this line right here, 4x plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. All right, so in order to find the equation of a line, we need two things. We need a point on that line and we need the slope of the line. In this problem, we are not given directly a point on that line. However, we are told that the point of intersection of these two lines lies on the line uh, that we want to find. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the point of intersection of these two lines using what we call simultaneous equations. So let's start with that. We have the lines 2x minus y plus 7 is equal to 0 and x plus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0. Um, I'm going to use, to solve this, I'm going to use the elimination method, which means I'm going to eliminate one of the variables. I think what I will do is I will eliminate my y variable. Um, to do that, I will first multiply this top equation, which I'll call equation number 1, by 3. So I will multiply this equation by 3, and that will give me a minus 3y term. If I then add that equation to equation number 2, my y terms will cancel, and I will be left with one equation with one unknown in it. So let me go through that. Multiplying this top equation by 3, I will get 6x minus 3y plus 21 is equal to 0. Uh, my equation number 2 is the same, it's x plus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0. And now, I know that if I add these two equations together, I will get x plus, sorry, 6x plus x, which is 7x. My minus 3y plus 3y will cancel. I'll have plus 21 minus 7, that's plus 14 is equal to 0. And so I will get 7x left with 7x is equal to negative 14, subtracting 14 from the other side, and dividing both sides by 7, I get that x is equal to negative 2. So I have my x value. In order to find my y value, I'm going to sub back in for x into one of my original equations. I'll take equation number 1, and so I'll have 2 times minus 2, so x, x minus 2, minus y, plus 7, plus 7 is equal to 0. So I have minus 4 minus y plus 7. And therefore, minus 4 plus 7 is 3. Minus y is equal to 0. Or y is equal to 3. And my y to the other side. And so I have my y value now. And so my point of intersection, point of intersection of these two lines, therefore, is, I'll put it up here, minus 2 comma, three. Okay, so now I want to find the slope of the line that I want. And I know that it is perpendicular to this line. So let me go through how I find first the slope of this line, and then how I find the perpendicular slope. So the line that I'm given is 4x plus y, 4x plus y, minus 1 is equal to 0. Given the equation of a line, the easiest way to find the slope of that line is to put, rearrange my equation uh, into slope-intercept form. To do that, I want y by itself. I want everything else on the right-hand side. I already have y here, so I'm going to keep y on the left. My 4x will go to the other side. It's minus 4x. My negative 1, I'll add to the other side, plus 1. And so I see that my slope, therefore, is right here. It's the coefficient on my x term. That's my slope. And so this here is my slope. And so I have that m, if you like, is minus 4. It follows that my perpendicular slope, which is the slope of the line that I'm trying to find, is the negative reciprocal. So what I want to do is I switch the sign and invert it. 4, 
over 1 becomes 1 over 4. And if I switch the sign, minus becomes a plus. So the slope of the line that I want to find is therefore a foreigner. This is the slope that I want to use. All right, so now I have a point, minus 2, 3. And I have a slope of a quarter. So my point slope formula, y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. My point x1 comma y1 is minus 2, 3. My slope m here is 1 quarter. And so I just have to now uh, fill into the formula. It becomes y minus y1, right here if you like, is 3, is equal to m, that's a quarter, m is a quarter, times parentheses x minus x1 is x minus negative 2, negative 2. Tidying up, I get y minus 3 is equal to 1 quarter on x plus 2. And therefore, y minus 3 is distributing in my 1 quarter. I get 1 quarter x uh, plus 1 quarter times 2 is a half. Combining my like terms, and I'll write it in slope intercept form, I have y equal, I bring my negative 3 to the other side, I get 1 quarter x plus a half plus 3. That is y equals 1 quarter x plus 1 half plus 3 is 3 and a half. That is 7 over 2. And that is the equation of my line written in slope intercept form. Uh, if you like, you could multiply across uh, the whole thing by 4, get rid of your fractions, but uh, that's a perfectly valid way to leave it. You can see again that we have our the slope right here, it's in slope intercept form, so our slope is 1 quarter, there what we found, and our y intercept is 7 over 2. That's the equation of our line, and that's our problem answer.